And nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Kaylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Renan Lodi plays with Serge. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, they're going for the short one. Veghorst. Must be! And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Morgan gives White. Yates on the offensive. But they dealt with the threat posed. How about the cross? And that will be a corner. And there's the delivery. Well, still an issue here. Gibbs White. And making the move to the inside. Not a good pass. Anthony. Vechhorst. Chris Wood well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass Marcus Rashford Rashford possession given away unfortunately that's very effective good high pressing Ryan Yates Gibbs White well still searching for the equaliser but not passing it anxiously Wood well the fans really want him to shoot real chance great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save Who can they pick out? Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And smuggled behind for another corner. <laughs> but he's gone short with it. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Can they hit on the break? And options in the centre. The course. Rashford! And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him.
Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. A really effective shielding under pressure. Worrell. Now Aurier in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Brennan Johnson. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Effective challenge. Bruno Fernandes Anthony Weghorst Bruno Fernandes in it goes a three goal cushion this is astonishing stuff Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the action underway once more. And it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. So that will be all for the first half. And the home side know they've got to show an improvement in the second 45. Yeah, we highlighted their struggles in front of goal. But today it's their defending that's let them down. And I just can't see them rescuing anything from this game. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? And Chris Wood. Gibbs White. Chance here. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Fred. Ryan Yates. And given away. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So there it is. 3-1, the current scoreline here. Casemiro Fernandes Fred with it Wout Weghorst Here's Luke Shaw Casemiro More than decent this from United Can he do it? 
He's foiled them on his own. Can Lloyd Sherrod, that's Lloyd Sherrod. Well, a very effective play in possession. To the nearest two, thank you. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Well, first order of business is to win the ball back. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Diogo Dallo. Now Casemiro. Well, the pass not finding its target. Remo Freuler. They might be able to get in now. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Just 15 minutes remaining. Ball lost by United once more. Mongala. Casemiro. Anthony. A very timely interception. Vechorst. Fred with it. Remo Freuler. Brennan Johnson. And taking it away. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Splendid tackle. And the outcome is a corner here. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Who can they pick out? Well, he failed to get it away properly. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Anthony. Now Casemiro. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 